Hello guys, in this video, I am introducing you to HippoRag. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation and it is simply a way for us to provide more context to large language models. Large language models are normally trained on a huge corpus of data, but they only know what they have been trained on. If you want to glean intelligence from your own custom data, such as your own company's data, or your own biomedical data or anything like that, then LLMs obviously don't know about that. So the way we provide that information to the LLM with our questions is called as RAG. There are various steps which are involved in RAG. For example, first you have to convert your documents, which might be in text, which might be in PDF or any other format to numerical representations or which is called as embeddings. Then those embeddings are stored in some sort of embedding store or vector store. From there, a semantic search is done whenever someone asks a question from LLM in the context of your own data. And then as per that search, LLM is provided an augmented prompt, which includes not only your query, but also your own data. So this hippo rag is yet another framework to make that rag better and it is a neurobiologically inspired long-term memory. Memory is a big issue with LLMs, with the context, with your own queries, because the more data LLMs can handle at one time, the response might be better. And then you don't have to do a lot of other adjustment, which we normally do. So let me first try to explain this, what exactly this hippo rag is, the framework. And then we will also look at how you can use it in your own project. Remember, this is not a tool. This is a framework So you would have to embed it, include it in your own project as however you please. So look at this diagram, which looks quite interesting. So what is happening here is that this is the knowledge integration and rag as per hippo rag. So what it shows is that tasks that require knowledge integration are particularly challenging for current rag systems. And in this example, these researchers want to find a Stanford professor, a professor that does Alzheimer's research from a pool of passages describing potentially thousands of Stanford professors and Alzheimer's researchers. Since current methods and code passages in isolation, they would struggle to identify Professor Thomas unless a passage mentions both characteristics at once. In contrast, most people familiar with this professor would remember him quickly due to our brain's associative memory capabilities thought to be driven by the index structure depicted in the c-shaped hippocampus in the blue color which you can see on your screen inspired by this mechanism hippo rag allows llms to build and leverage a simple and similar graph of associations to tackle knowledge integration tasks and in this whole scenario, this hippocampal memory indexing theory is quite interesting. And you can also find it in the paper and the GitHub repo, which I will drop the link in video's description. This hippocampal memory indexing theory is a well-established theory that provides a functional description of the components and circuitry involved in human long-term memory. In this theory, the researchers Taylor proposed that human long-term memory is composed of three components that work together to accomplish two main objectives. Pattern separation, which ensures that the representation of distinct perceptual experiences are unique, and pattern completion, which enables the retrieval of complete memories from partial stimuli. So, HippoRag is closely inspired by the process, which I just have described in this HippoCompal memory indexing theory. So, what happens in this one is that the offline index they do first offline indexing phase that is similar to memory encoding and that starts by leveraging a strong instruction tuned llm their artificial neocortex to extract knowledge graph and then this knowledge graph which is schema less it just does open information extraction and then there are a lot of information where they not only do the offline indexing they also go into the online retrieval where they have more component. It is quite complex by the way. It is not that easy because what they are doing it, they are modeling three component of human long-term memory 
to mimic its pattern separation and completion function. So for offline indexing, they use an LLM to process passages into open knowledge graph triples, which are then added to their artificial hippocampal index. And then while their synthetic uh, regions detect synonymy, they also extract name entities from a query while their retrieval encoders link them to their index and then they leverage the page ranking algorithm to enable context based retrieval and then they extract professor thomas as i mentioned now if you want to implement it there are some instructions which are don't seem really complete to me but still you can try them out if you have a very massive requirement where you want to try out this theory but remember you would have to do a lot of customization you would have to do a lot of tinkering with it for example here first let's say you know you would be creating a conda environment install all the requirements after git cloning this repo and you can get the link and i will drop the link in video description too then you would need multiple gpus for it but for started for example if you have two just mention zero one if you have four mention zero one two three then it seems it is working with open ai and together api and as per them you can even use local llm and i will also show you that code too i haven't tried it out so i can't comment on that then you would have to download this uh, Goldbird version 2 from these checkpoints and then you would need to set up your own data and this is how you would need to set up your retrieval data so this is your json file format if it is not in this format it won't work so that is a bit of a bummer for me i don't think so they should be dictating the actual format of it but anyway so this is again another format which you need to use you can also integrate with olama lang chain and then here you would need to um, index with synonymy edges which i described in that diagram earlier so as you see it is not that straightforward you would have to configure a lot of stuff and it's not that well written documentation and then this is the hippo rag integration with the python code if you want to do it again a lot of stuff which you need to mention so in my opinion if you're looking for something which is quite uh, i would say mega documentation you just want to try it out in the research then it makes sense otherwise i don't think so in the working environment in the production environment these sort of frameworks really are production ready unless they make them more user friendly and then instead of us downloading the models formatting our data in particular format it could adjust do the retrieval do the re-ranking and storing and all that stuff that will be more beneficial and workable but anyway interesting concept you know where they are using the human brains with the rag let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps thank you